friends, welcome back to my channel. I've been so excited to finally sit down and film this highly requested full review of the new Sublimage foundation. So this is the latest addition to the family. It was launched late last year and I know it's available on Chanel.com and then it will be making its way to counters. So if you can wait, that way you can feel it, smell it, kind of see it for yourself and get a good color match. But if you don't want to wait, and it's a great foundation, so I would highly suggest getting your hands on it soon, you can go ahead and order now on Chanel.com. If you're going to do that, I would say that the best color match would be to compare with the Le Beige foundation. They're both cream foundations, and I just feel like the color matches are probably the most comparable. But if you're not familiar, Sublimage is the name of the premier, kind of most comprehensive, most luxurious skincare line offered by Chanel. So that's really kind of the inspiration and the backbone behind launching this foundation. And I did a full review where I went in depth on all of the products and talked about um, the technology and the history of the Sublimage skincare line. So if you haven't seen it already, I will link that video down below so that you can check it out and learn a little bit more about what makes Sublimage so special. So I've been using this foundation pretty exclusively for the past week. I wanted to use it a few times and kind of learn how it feels and how it goes on and really just get a good feel of it before I sat down to do the review. I was debating whether or not to do a first impressions video, but I think sometimes they can be kind of unfair to the product. You know, when you first open something or first use something, um, you may not, you know, you kind of have to figure it out a little bit before you really can understand it. So I've been using it for the last couple days and it's absolutely amazing. I had very few expectations. I was more just excited to try it because I had heard so many great things. And of course, you know, when you are working for a company and you hear like, ooh, a new foundation is coming, you're, everybody is of course really excited. You know, you can't wait to try it. What, what's it gonna be like? And of course, knowing that the Supermarsh skincare line is so amazing, I knew that this had to be a great product. And you know, that being said, I will tell you that my first impression of the foundation was one, the smell is amazing. You get that vanilla smell that you get from the skincare. That same fragrance is going to be in this foundation. But then the second thing was, wow, this is really a true foundation. I think in the back of my mind, I was kind of scared that maybe it would be just a very expensive tinted moisturizer but it's not it's not a BB cream it's not a CC cream it is a true foundation so I was really just impressed whenever I first tried it so here it is this is what the packaging looks like similar to the Supermarsh skincare creams when you open it up oh and I will tell you it is officially called Supermage La Tint Ultimate Radiance Generating Cream Foundation. So you open up the box and you get this really nice thick booklet. It talks a little bit about how to apply the ingredients, etc. Just and more information. And then this is the jar of the actual foundation. So that nice, beautiful gold glass packaging. It's very luxe, just like the Supermage Skincare. And then you also get this really nice angled foundation brush and a little spatula to help you apply since it's not in a pump and it is in a jar. But according to Chanel, and you'll have to excuse me, I'm going to look down at my notes. This foundation has a satin finish. It's best suited for normal to dry skin or of course mature skin. It's light to medium coverage. So that being said, in my personal experience, I found it to be pretty full coverage, actually. Like I was saying, my initial thoughts were, wow, this is, you know, a real foundation. And I haven't been using, you know, too much or anything like that. You can get some great coverage out of this. I guess you could maybe use a little bit less, maybe mix in your moisturizer to get a really light coverage. But if you really are a full coverage foundation person, don't think that you can't use this because you can. It really is a medium 
medium to full coverage foundation in my personal experience. Also, the fact that they say it's best suited for normal to dry skin, I'm personally very combination. I have to be careful of what I put on my face because at the end of the day, I could be a oily, greasy mess and it just does not stay pretty long. Um, but this foundation, I haven't had any issues with and of course we moved to Miami so we're definitely in a tropical climate and that really was making me kind of nervous but at the end of the day I don't feel too greasy. You know, I'll maybe powder my face once throughout the day if I'm running errands and I'm kind of in and out of the house. Um, but that's, you know, over the course of a full day. I haven't felt like it's too moisturizing, if that makes sense. Um, but that being said, it is a meant to be a dewy, light reflecting, radiant foundation. So if you want just a true matte this probably isn't going to be for you, but it is very beautiful. And I put, you know, I always do concealer and I always set with translucent powder. I've used it just as I would any other foundation. And I don't feel like it's too dewy. I still feel like I can achieve a more matte look whenever I just put a little powder on top. So that's just my personal input. Um, but as you can see, the packaging is very different than any of the others. When you open it up, it has... A little lid on the jar which is nice but you because it is a glass jar you want to definitely be careful to not necessarily dip your fingers in and that's really the benefit of having the spatula I lost it the little spatula but it's absolutely beautiful and the fact that it comes with the brush I think is really nice so now I'm going to explain how you're supposed to apply it so you take the spatula you're going to dip it into the jar, place dots on your face, and of course then clean your spatula each time. It's very important. You don't want to contaminate the jar, especially because it's a $135 foundation. So you want to, you know, treat it nicely and, you know, really make sure that you get the most out of it. And then you're going to use your brush and you're just going to kind of swipe to blend it out all over the face. And that's how I have been applying it, and it's very easy. This brush, you kind of think, well, maybe I'll swirl. I'm used to a flat top kabuki brush, so I'm used to kind of swirling and buffing out my foundation. So I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this. One thing I will say, it is so fast. It really does, I mean, because of the angle, you're just going to kind of swipe and kind of blend it out that way. But it's the bristles are so soft. It really is just a breeze. It goes on so quickly and then you're done. So I have been using it or I kind of paired it with my LeBlanc de Chanel primer. You don't have to do that, but I have found that this is a really nice primer that works well with the foundation to help make it last longer and not kind of break up throughout the day. Not to say that it would without this primer, but this has just kind of been my go-to pick. To use and this also is going to give you that radiance this is an illuminating makeup base so to compare or to use this with the radiance boosting radiance generating foundation they just work really nicely with each other so that would be what I would recommend but once it's on your skin it just gives you a nice coverage it gives you a nice glow and part of that glow is that it actually contains diamond powders, which are meant to give you that boost of radiance. And then it has the vanilla planifolia water. So the vanilla planifolia are the fruits and flowers of the vanilla plant harvested in Madagascar. That's really the backbone ingredient of the skincare. And why that's so important is that the benefits include boosting density of the skin, evening out your skin tone, of course moisture, and then radiance. So when we say Sublimage is the most comprehensive, it's because it really targets every aspect of skincare, what you would want to achieve out of your skincare. So you're getting all of those benefits and you can see it in your skin. You look like you have healthy, moisturized skin. I will tell you that the concealer that I've been using, and I'm just kind of using an old concealer that I just want to get rid of so I'm using it up and every single time it creases on me so bad but I am I've been so stubborn I just really want to use up this concealer I don't want to just throw it away because I feel like that would be a waste 
So the cheap girl in me just really wants to use up this concealer. Every other foundation that I've used, it creases so badly, but this week using it with the Sublimage foundation, I don't know if it's just that it keeps the skin so hydrated or supple, I'm not sure what the combination is, but my concealer actually has not creased at all this week. So an extra benefit, I'm, I really don't even know why that has been the case, but my skin just looks and feels really soft and supple. Whenever you wash your face at the end of the day, um, you can feel the difference. At least I can feel a difference. I, maybe that's just because I'm not used to using such a moisturizing foundation that to me I'm like, ooh, okay, my skin feels really soft. But I must say it's got to be the skincare benefits from the actual foundation. That's just a nice little benefit. So overall, I love this foundation. I highly recommend it. I give it a 10 out of 10. I would say if I had to be critical, a couple points that are maybe worth considering if you're going to order blindly online is one, the fragrance. It is very fragrant and to me it smells amazing. But if you do not like fragrance, you're probably not going to like this foundation. As sad as it makes me to know that there are people out there who won't get to really enjoy or won't feel the same way about this foundation as I do. If you don't like fragrance, you're not going to like it. It's not for you. Also, the fact that it's in a jar. This is beautiful. It sits very, you know, grandly on your countertop or, you know, your vanity, wherever you would keep it. However, for travel, you know, a glass jar isn't really, you know, convenient. Um, you know, a pump is very more high, it's more hygienic, it's just a little bit easier. So if you're not somebody who's willing to, you know, scoop and then brush and then you just want to put your hands in there, I mean, it's, you don't want to contaminate the actual jar. So if adding that extra step of having to scoop out the product is a problem for you, or you know that's, that's just not something that you would want to add to your routine, then again, this foundation may not be for you because I definitely would recommend using it in the suggested way. And then the other thing is the price point. As I mentioned before, it's $135. You get your booklet, you get your spatula, and you get your brush. Now that being said, usually a Chanel foundation is gonna run you about $60. Our brushes run about 45 to 60 trying to think off the top of my head. The, my favorite brush, the Duo Fiber, is 55 So that already brings you to $115, doing quick math. Um, so you're already right about at that price point anyway. If you're gonna get a foundation and you're gonna get a brush, you're already gonna be spending close to, if not a little more than $100 with Chanel. Now that's not the case with other brands, but to me, when I really break it down, it's a really good value because you're getting the Sublimage, you know, premier skincare. It's a great foundation. It's going to give you definitely medium to full coverage, but you can also sheer it out if you wanted to. So you can kind of use it multiple ways. Whereas if it were just kind of a light coverage foundation, that may be disappointing because you really can't build up a light coverage foundation that much or else you'll end up just laying it on your skin. And then that's going to feel heavy and it's just not going to look right. Um, so I think you can use it as a sheer medium full coverage product, which to me, it's almost like three products in one. It'll kind of change and bend to whatever you need it to be for that day. So I think it's a great value. The brush, you know, you'll be able to use this. It's a short brush, but you'll still be able to use this with any other foundations. The brush is definitely good for travel because it's so petite, um, but it, it's a nice brush. It's not just, you know, one of those kind of crappy, cheap little brushes or applicators that you sometimes get with a product. It's actually a really nice brush. So that being said, I really love these. If I were to compare this foundation with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, because that's just, you know, a drugstore brand off the top of my head, that's an illuminating kind of dewy finish foundation. The Super Wash foundation wins every single time. And that may be kind of obvious, maybe it's not, but 
you know, it's just a superior product. So I think if you're, you know, somebody who doesn't mind, you know, paying a little extra money but getting a better product, you're really going to love the Supermage Foundation. So that is it for my review. Hopefully I covered everything you wanted to know. If you have any comments or questions, definitely leave them for me down below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible because I know a lot of people were very curious about this foundation. But I did want to go ahead and show you up close and personal. So this is the jar. It's a one ounce jar. It is smaller than the Sublimage creams, but larger than the eye cream. Initially when I saw it, I thought, okay, it's the same size as the eye cream, but no, it's not. It's actually much larger. <laughs> and when you take off the lid, you'll see this is the jar. And I've really just been scraping the lid this week whenever I've been using it and I haven't even, you know, cleaned it. So I have a feeling that this foundation is going to last a very long time. Like I said, a little bit will go a long way and you'll be able to, you know, get a lot of coverage out of it and definitely a lot of wear. Again, I think I mentioned it earlier, but if you don't have this available near you and you want to kind of compare colors, I would suggest going off of the Le Beige foundation just because they're both cream foundations. And this is the same color scale as the Vita Lumiere and the, or not the Vita Lumiere, the Vita Lumiere Aqua and the Le Beige where it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 12, 22, 32, so it comes in the beige and the beige rose tones. Unlike the Vita Lumiere and the Lift Lumiere that kind of have their own spectrum. So that's again why I would compare with the Lay Beige because you have the same colors or at least the same shade ranges. But that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video or took something away. And I am going to be using this foundation and a few makeup tutorials coming up so that way you'll be able to really see kind of how it applies. But I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more.